My name is Bree, and I'm a librarian here at Columbus State. Earlier in my career, when I worked at a different library, a coworker in my department suggested that I create a Banned Books Week display. I jumped at the opportunity to share the issue of intellectual freedom with library patrons, but my efforts were met with red tape when I was told by the powers that be not to set up my display. Being censored in this way was so contrary to what I value in terms of the role of libraries in promoting intellectual freedom and the right to read that I considered turning in my two weeks notice to that organization. The one positive outcome of this experience was discovering that my passion for banned books was shared by my department colleagues who felt just as let down as I did at being directed to stop the project. When I tried to shrug off my disappointment by saying the situation was not a big deal, one of my coworkers responded immediately and emphatically that it was a big deal. Our bonds as providers of access to literature and information to the public were actually strengthened by the shared experience, and that's a spirit that I see here without a doubt. That's why I'm so excited that we're celebrating the freedom to read here at the Columbus State Library. We hope you'll join us during Banned Books Week 2014 at the Columbus Hall Library and the Delaware Campus Learning Center. There will be many ways for Columbus State students, faculty, and staff to help the Right to Read movement. If you'd like to participate, please go to library.cscc.edu exhibit or contact a librarian for more information.